Well, of course, victory in the opening fixture was absolutely ideal, and their path to the next round already looks navigable. By no means is there any guarantee of progress, but they have given themselves the best possible chance to go through. Past records state that a win on the opening day gives you an 85% chance or thereabouts of doing just that, so they have every reason for optimism. Is the very high-tech Belton's Arena somehow fitting for this part of the world, the industrial hub that is the region of Westphalia? And we rise now for the Spanish national anthem. some performance and now here comes the response Italy have taken three points from three so far. Six from six should do it. Good atmosphere. Well, Peter, the opener couldn't have gone much better result-wise. And that momentum, belief, has to be taken into this. And along with the verve and vigour they showed first time round, I think uh, a repeat ought to do the trick here. They'll be backing themselves with a quiet confidence, I'm sure. So we're up and running. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, this guy, Rodri, is a player I like a lot, and he's someone who quietly gets on with his job by doing a lot of the simple things exactly right. His game's all about playing short balls, forming triangles, and the speed of thought is actually quite impressive. And it often keeps him away from trouble. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Now the breakaway. Oyarzabal played out to the right. In towards the middle. Alex Grimaldo. Spain playing high up the pitch here, very much taking the front foot approach. was very necessary there's a lot of movement going on there's no shortage of options so I guess they're looking to play around their opponents as opposed to through them yeah the style is designed to dominate the ball and so you dominate your opponents looks to bypass the midfield and he's there to cut it out the balls come loose and the chase is on Carvajal. Merino. It's a brilliant interception. And the defence can get it clear. Now it's Oyarzabal. A well played, and he's taken that really cleanly. Ferran Torres with the delivery. He's done with that one. Jorginho. And that'll be 
the final action of the first half. Both well, sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. Italy head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. They're probably into the second 45 minutes. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. Merino. Rodri. Tedri. And here's Torres. Barrera battles to win it back. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Jorginho. DeMarco. DeMarco. Sort of run down the left wing. Hoists it forward. Zakani. He's onside. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Williams goes up and over. Oh, good take and a good hit. And Torres! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind. And I don't think he knew either. chance to turn to their benches. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Now it's Chiesa. And it's played forward. It's a look promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Nacho. Carvajal, Tedri, Oyarzabal, Mikel Oyarzabal looking to penetrate opposition lines. Tedri. Well, they've got one eye on the clock, but the balancing act is very fine at this stage. Go for it, and it could backfire. Sit back, and it may be at a price. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last flip. Has a go! Oh, that's incredible! And that's got to be it! That has got to be it! Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Changes here from both sides, in fact. Spain take the lead. Now it's just a question of holding on. Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. Chiesa plays it in. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. It is now or never. Time is against them. This could fall anywhere. Ball glued to his feet. Rodri. And that's that. So it ends 1-0. An enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat.
And what do you take away from it all, Jim? It's a poor result. They offer very little goal threat, and it's the kind of unproductive performance that...